I want to start by, do you blame anybody for this attack on the hospital to start with? And um, we also heard, heard uh, Reverend Silva on BBC. Do you, do you confirm what he was saying there, that the hospital did receive warnings from the Israelis to evacuate the hospital? Yes, I think that the, the facts on the ground that you know we we have um, not only an Arab and a hospital that received the uh, warning for the evacuation. You know, like all the people of North Gaza, all at, the, at least 15 hospitals received the warning, including the Arab and a hospital that received the warning to evacuate the hospital. Uh, and uh, uh, we we have uh, actually, as as from an ethical point of view, like I'm sure that you know different hospitals. Uh, took took a stand, you know, like in order to continue because how they can leave the hospital with, with everything that's happening. Uh, but we have the moral uh, 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 obligation to notify everybody who's been in the hospital, whether they are civilians or our staff, that we have received a warning uh, to evacuate the hospital. So that's that is a fact. Yes. Do you know who bombed the hospital? Can you can you tell us who bombed the hospital? You know, like, you know, we, we know that, you know, what, what we know is what we saw on the TV. Um, and, uh, you know, like, we are not people. We are people of the cross. We are people of church. And uh, to come to a conclusion, uh, we are not military experts who can determine what happened. But I want to tell you something that, you know, like, what we know at least, that there are many buildings, there are many houses, there are many places that they have been bombed by airstrikes, Israeli airstrikes. And, uh, and, and these are facts, you know, like, who did this, you know, like, this is not for us to determine or to give judgment. But I think, you know, let people just see what is happening on the ground. Let people see beyond even the hospital. And we hope that, you know, like, again, people will come to a conclusion that enough with this war uh, and enough with the lives that have been lost uh, on every side. When did the warning come? And also, I want to pick up the two, uh, three days prior on October 13th, the hospital, the Al Ahli Arabi Hospital, has been also been targeted. And according to video and pictures from the hospital, the mammography <coughs> department and the other clinics inside the hospital has been damaged. Did we determine that was an Israeli strike on the hospital? You know, I, what, what happened is that in the, in the, in the, about three days ago, the, the hospital was struck by two. Uh, uh, I don't know what even classify them as, like two rockets or whatever they were, they, they damaged the, the fourth floor and the ceiling the top floor of our new diagnostic center. Uh, uh, and also we, we the other one hit in the ultrasound and the mammography uh, room that is on the second floor. Did you receive any call by the Israeli authorities after the strike? After the strike? Yeah. Yes, we, we have received different calls from different people about the, the asking what happened. People called us in order to kind of ask what happened, and they're from many, many, many sides. Not only from diplomats, from uh, authorities, from Israeli government. Sorry. Israeli government. No, no, not the Israeli government. In terms of the warnings that you got, could you tell us what form of warnings were they written? Warnings telephone warnings. Yes, yes. Like what did they say? And how many of them were there ahead of this? this you know, uh, we, we have, you know, since the uh, decision being made about uh, uh, evacuation of North Gaza to the south of Gaza. We have received three warnings, so beginning, I think, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So these three were in many by, by telephone. They would phone the administration, telling them, them as much as they did, with all, because they have their, their phone numbers of all the uh, directors of the hospital. So they can uh, they either send a message or uh, whatever means they have uh, to notify. Um, and uh, so that's, these are the, the three warnings that they were. So you received, what well, did you receive three warnings after the first strike? To, to, to your church, saying that the hospital would be bombed. Well, what did it, what the the warning say? Warning that the hospital will be, well, let's be clear. The, the warnings, they were to evacuate the hospital. To evacuate the hospital. Yes, that was the warning. But the warning was, other, well, sorry to be clarified, that, that was implicit in that, was the idea that the hospital would be bombed because you had to evacuate it. The connection you make, you know, what happened on the facts on the ground? Uh, three days before the actual bombing, uh, the hospital was hit in the two floors that I mentioned, and then we received, continued to receive the, kind of the notices to evacuate, and then uh, the, the hospital was struck last night. So th these are the facts on the ground. 
Okay, that, that actually happened. Given that the facts as you have set them out to us here in this room, the Israeli denials that they are involved in the bombing and that it was an Israeli missile, do you, we must accept that they are worthless, they are baseless, those Israeli denials, given they sent you three warnings to evacuate the hospital. Do you agree with that analysis? You know, people can analyze what they want to analyze. You know, again, from our point of view, we as the church, we continue to say that, you know, the place, you know, the hospital itself is a sanctuary for people, and what happened there is a crime. We are not, again, a military people to decide, or we are not journalists to, to analyze. We are not politicians to decide. What we are saying here is that, you know, like, what has happened in the hospital is a crime, is a massacre. So do you see the first strike three days ago as a warning strike to evacuate the hospital uh, so that uh, people would get out and the implication of it of course was that if you didn't there would be a major bombing. You are saying that sir. I, I, what I'm saying is that you know we got to receive the two missiles that hit the hospital and uh, as, as we could see and tell that they are from an Israeli uh, uh, strike uh, at the hospital and then we receive the warnings and then the blast of place. Can I carry on about the, the warnings that you received to evacuate? Was, are you, I just want to clarify because I don't fully understand the questions and the answers, but the, there was a general call to evacuate and to go south. Are you talking about that call to evacuate or are you saying that there were specific warnings, get out of the building, we're going to hit this building? There were specific uh, warnings to get out of the building. Okay. For three times, three days since Saturday. The How many people were? I just wanted were... to clarify, sorry, that the Palestinian representatives that posted by were just saying that one of these warnings came one hour before the explosion last night. Can you confirm that? One hour, um, as I said, um, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And set, uh, on, this is Tuesday, that's yesterday. I'm not aware of the warning that was yesterday. I'm not aware of it, I say it happened. How many uh, of the displaced people from Northern Gaza were taken sanctuary in your uh, premises? Every day, your premises? every day was different, you know. We, the first day we received the first warning, there were about uh, almost something like uh, uh, 5,000 people. Then when we told them that we received the uh, not, not notification uh, to evacuate the hospital, Something like 200 uh, remained in the hospital. That's the first day. Then people started coming in and going out, depending on what is happening around. They said, we are in the center of Gaza, in the Zaytun neighborhood, uh, Saha, as we call it in, in Gaza. We are in the center, and every time there is bombing, every time there is an airstrike, uh, people flee, flee to the hospital because, as I said, this is a sanctuary for them. So it has been kind of fluctuating between thousands coming in and out depending on the day or the, the time of the day or, or what is taking place in our neighborhood.